Hello everyone, I am Akif and today we will be discussing about ports from computer networking perspective. Once we are done with that, we will try to have a look at Wireshark. We will try to have a look at the various packets that we capture and also see what ports are involved in that. So let's get started. We discussed in the previous video about DHCP. We also discussed about various ports that were involved because DHCP is a UDP based um, application layer protocol. We saw on the client side port number 68 was involved on the client side on the client side and on the server side port number 67 was involved. Similar to UDP uh, we have TCP also. TCP also makes the use of ports and let's try to understand it here with an example. For example we have number of processes running on a client machine or a machine that wants to get connected with another machine. These are processes that are based on some application layer protocols. Suppose on this side we have FTP, we have HTTP and DNS. On other side we have something like TFTP, Trivial File Transport Protocol, DNS, HTTP. So what happened in this case is that we have various uh, applications running in the application layer and we have to send all these data which are actually sep running separately. We have to su send them uh, and uh, what happens on the transport layer it accepts only from a one single path so it is streamed through a single path on the sending side just like this it's sent along a dedicated path it, the information moves downwards from the transport to the network and from network layer to the data link layer and then to the physical layer then from the physical layer it moves back upwards towards the data link layer the network layer and in the transport layer. Here what happens is that with the help of port numbers this data is multiplexed. So what happens is that with the help of these port numbers or ports TCP and UDP both TCP and UDP both they make use of port numbers and ports for multiplexing. Now let's try to dive a bit deeper. Now whenever you want to communicate with another machine, uh, you want to know its destination address, which is an IP address. So out of those thousands of computers that are in that very network with which you want to communicate, you have identified that machine with the help of this IP address. But what process you want to communicate with that is determined with the port number. So you have these two things. One is called the IP address, another is called the port number. So both of them when put together in finding out with what machine you want to communicate, they are called as socket address. Now, when you talk about this port number, it's a 16-bit number and this 16-bit number helps us to choose from a wide range which is equal to 2 raised power 16 and 2 raised power 16 is equal to 65,536. So this is this huge range of numbers. So what IANA, which is Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, it has done, it has divided them into various categories. Uh, port numbers from 0 to 1023, 
uh, or known as well-known ports. Then ports from 1024 all the way to 49151, they are called registered ports. And then rest of the ports, they are called as dynamic ports. So there you have this wide range, 65,536 ports. And what ports are involved in what uh, protocol? We're not interested in them now. We are only interested in a few ports, like what ports are involved in UDP, what ports are involved in uh, TCP. So let's have a look at various application layer protocols that we have captured in Wireshark. Uh, so what happens here is that we have captured various protocols in Wireshark and we are interested in only applic sorry the transport layer protocols or protocols that are based on these transport layer protocols uh, such as dns dhcp http and all such protocols but uh, let's have a look at udp first so you can have a look here port number 54 915 is involved in UDP on the source side and port uh, port number 54915 is on, involved on the destination port so you can uh, compare it with the range provided by IAN here and find out in which category it falls then let's have a look at TCP yes this is here. Port number 2332 is involved on the source side. Port number 443 is on involved on the destination side. Now let's look at some other protocol which is actually either based on UDP or TCP. Let's try to have a look at DNS. If you are not able to find it out, you can type it here. So the source on the source side port number 64293 is used on the destination side port number 53 is used. So that's how you can find out um, what port in, is involved in which protocol uh, in Wireshark. So that was all for today. Thanks and have a nice day.